this is my review for an Etsy bed that I bought from Etsy and I combined it with the Lunset which is an Ikea set of slats to go under the bed to give me that fake Japanese style or the appearance of a Japanese style uh, of sleeping arrangement. Uh, the bed itself is exceptional for many reasons. One of them, it's environmentally friendly. It's healthy for you because there's hardly any chemicals involved in the manufacture of this bed as it's been handmade. That goes against the conventional uh, mattresses that you'll see in stores pretty much everywhere, which focus on comfort, not so much your health because a lot of beds have a lot of toxins and this is better for the environment. So an Etsy bed, the Luncet, and how I put it all together and where you can get one as well. This is my review. This bed came all the way from Bulgaria, spent what felt like an eternity in Russia, and then it just turned up in Hong Kong. Somehow it skipped Mongolia or China. It took three weeks for delivery. And this is from a company called Home of Wool on Etsy. Look at this sweet bag. It comes in, oh, it's locked. Ironically, for an organic mattress, there is a shitload of plastic and non-renewable uh, material to package this with. It's wider than I thought. Oh, got a little custom note here. Thank you, John from Rosica. It's there if you want to check them out on the, on the internet. This is so heavy. Feels glorious. <sighs> Smells like sheep shit. Can you see how long the box is? IKEA, why do that? Why make it super long instead of just make it more girthier? Okay, so I made the IKEA slats. Now, the slats themselves are 10 centimeters longer than the mattress. So there's a little bit left over, that's fine. But on the width, there's going to be three centimeters each side where there'll be some overhang from the mattress. Again, that's fine. Actually, the overhang isn't that bad on this side either, even though it's up against the wall. Just keep it like that. Just in time? Yeah, definitely. It's kind of coincidence that as I've finished it, Ray is here. It's a fantastic sleep, by the way, and I should definitely give Home of Wall a review. And that's the review. Let's take a close look at the mattress itself. This is what you've been waiting for. So this is a pure wool filling, as you can see right here. It's just filled with wool. That means, and because it's bleached, that means there's no chemicals, it's non-toxic. It regulates the temperature of the person lying in the bed. It's hypoallergenic, mildew resistant, dust mite free. It's sustainable, obviously, biodegradable, importantly for me. And you can actually dry this or clean this just by standing it in the sun because it's a natural uh, fabric that responds to drying just by using sunlight somehow. This is custom made. This piping is an optional extra. This costs about 20 British pounds extra if you want it, and it just provides some rigidity to the structure of the mattress. Like I said, this is custom. So when I first uh, saw the product, they actually offer a custom solution and you can send them your measurements 
and they will ask for photos of the apartment where it's sitting and then give advice. So, for example, they recommended that I get something that separates the mattress from the floor so that the wool can breathe. If you don't, you would have to flip this over. <laughs> once a week or every day because of the the weight as well the compression and so what you're doing is you're actually alleviating it by uh, flipping it over right it's a different day there's not there's not a bounce in that bed wall doesn't bounce does it Hello! it's a different day ray has gone I'm by myself I'm settled in I've been using the bed for a week and I just wanted to have a quick chat, keep it really simple for the YouTube and just talk about why did I go to the extra length of ordering a custom made bed on Etsy when I live in Hong Kong anyway. So Hong Kong can cater to my heart's desire when it comes to buying a bed. Actually Hong Kong can't because I've read about unnatural chemicals being in our furniture. It's been, it's been like this for a while and I don't know what it's like in Europe or Hong Kong, but I know in America there's a lot of products with formaldehyde, PBDEs, polybro polybromate diphenol, and we're talking resins, all sorts of polypropanols, and it gives me pause for thought. And if you've got thyroid problems, which I don't have, but if you're thyroid sensitive, those might be a problem for you. So it's like that old argument that people like to throw up. If there was 100 Maltesers or 100 M&Ms in a bowl and one of them was poisoned, would you eat from the bowl? And the answer would be no. It's the same thing for me. I just don't want to take that chance. And I wanted something natural and organic and something better uh, in return for the environment. There's some articles in the show description down below which would start you off on your journey if you're interested in getting your own uh, organic mattress. And all I can say is I'm really happy with this bed. I love it. I don't mind the smell of shit sheep shit i'm only joking it just smells of sheep okay i'm just joking don't not consider a bed because you think it smells of shit the smell is supposed to fade away i'm really happy with it and i'm really happy that i went to ikea and got like some basic wooden slats and they seem to be fine and it's sort of like that japanese style except some people might think it's a mattress on a floor when it isn't who knows later i'll probably get some boards for underneath the slats just to have a proper degree of separation from the floor and the mattress and for those interested in looking for an alternative mattress i went through like 10 15 different websites all trying to find organic versions of memory foam and conventional mattresses and all of them were expensive this was the cheapest i could find this one from uh, etsy so if you've never used etsy before uh take it from me that i haven't had a problem uh the shipping was a bit of a delay but that's fine i got it in the end it's all here the quality is amazing as you saw earlier in this video. And there's really no reason not to consider an Etsy uh, product if you've never shopped for something from Etsy before. You can see that there are non-mainstream alternatives to looking after yourself and having a good night's kip.